my channel. Uh, today's video is a get ready with me one. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my makeup and hair um, for when I take photos indoors because I take a lot of like makeup pictures and uh, outfit pictures indoors. So yeah, if you're not subscribed already then please do because um, then you'll get notifications of when I post videos. So yeah, let's get started. <music> with I've just used my Laura Mercier foundation primer it's my absolute favorite one makes your makeup glide on and then I'm just doing a couple of layers of my favorite NARS natural radiant long wear foundation I use the color um, Punjab <laughs> and I'm just using my new foundation brush that I got from the body shop and I'm just laying up all my foundation to cover all my blemishes because I've got quite a few after eating loads of chocolate <laughs> over Christmas <laughs> today's photos I'm not quite sure what makeup look I'm gonna do I'm kind of making it up as I go along but I always get inspo from Pinterest and I've got a makeup looks board so I just kind of take inspo from that and kind of copy it a little bit so I'm really liking this one today so very bushy brows um, like fluttery cat eye lashes and big um, like overlined lips <laughs> which always looks good in photos so let's see how that's gonna go so as I said I've got quite a lot of spots at the moment um, the NARS foundation is great for coverage and I always go over the top with my NARS radiant creamy concealer and I use the color custard in this type and in this little pot as well <music> under eye concealer and uh, any bits I want to like make stand out I always use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion uh, concealer in 1C so it's quite pink <laughs> when you're taking photos you always need a good contour so I'm going to use my um, Hula Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. Ooh, oh no, it's fallen out. It's running out, that's why. Eek. I've just got that there. <laughs> this is not going too well today. <sighs> Haven't filmed in so long, so bear with me. <laughs> I always put a little bit around my lips because it makes them look a lot bigger. And then I'm going to use my smaller foundation brush and just blend that all out. my whole face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and my absolute favourite um, hourglass powder which is luminous light Then I then use this bronzer out of the NARS palette. This is called Summer Lights Face Palette, so I use that. Um, I'm not overly keen on using highlighters anymore. I feel like in photos they just make your foundation look a little bit cakey, uh, so you've got to be a bit careful with those. That's why I'm really liking the um, Hourglass Powder because it's a mix between a highlighter and a powder. So um, yeah, I then 
use the bronzer with just any old brush, <laughs> this one will do, um, to add a bit more contour to my face. And for eyeshadow today, I'm going to just use my very used palette, which is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. And I'm just going to mix together maybe like this one, that one, and this one. They're my favourite ones, as you can tell. Um, so I'm just going to use those ones today. So I'm using the colour Transition first as a base. And then I'm going to go in with... Are you kidding me? And then brownie points for my crease and maybe a little bit underneath. And I'm going to use a mix between my two scattered light um, pots from Hourglass in Reflect and Blaze. Oh, big band just went past. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start off with Blaze, which is more of like a got more of a pinky red tone to it. I'm going to put a bit of reflect, just more in the inner. I wanted to show you my makeup bag actually this is the new one that I got from H&M that I showed you in my previous video I think um and yeah it's so good I'm so organized I love it so I'll link that as well if you want to find that it's a lifesaver all my makeup's so neat now so I'm gonna do my eyebrows now and I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury brow lift uh, three-way shape tool which is great um as a base and then I might use my HD brow um, pro pencil to add a few like darker lines to make it look like I've got really hairy brows. more hairy I'm gonna go in with my HD brow um what's this called can't see it um brow colour fix um and it's in a dark brown colour so it makes them look really hairy and if I haven't dyed my eyebrows they go quite pale so this is great if I just haven't had time to do that <laughs> lips wise I'm going to use this new MAC lip liner that I got the other day in the colour Hover and I'm just going to use this to go like around the edge and then I'm going to blend that in with my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner that I got for Christmas and this is Lip Cheat um, Iconic Nude and it's so nice I love this colour they go so nicely together as well and then on top of that I'm going to use my favourite lipstick that I use all the time in photos and it is Cherish from MAC my pro longwear fluid line from mac in dip down and then i'm going to go over the top with um a brown eyeshadow just with this little brush um to blend it in so it's not like a harsh line <laughs> I 
I'm now going to add my eyelashes and mascara and I'm going to use these Naked Lashes from Ardell. They're my absolute favourite ones I always use and they are number 421. Um, and I'm going to put on a few freckles I think today. So I'm going to use my little freck, um, freckle thing um, and some blusher and I always use my NARS blusher in colour Gina. Harlow's been quite calm today, thank goodness, because all my makeup brushes are out, and you know what it is like, he will uh, nabble them, nabble them, nibble them. <laughs> What a cutie. For my hair, I'm going to use my GHD uh, curlers. They're so good. Um, they do a big, bouncy curl. So I'm just going to curl my hair. And then I will show you what outfit I'm going to wear. And then I'm just going to take a photo of my top half. So um, I've just got like this fur jacket and some nice earrings. So yeah, I'll show you those in a minute. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> that is very dangerous. So that curl's gone completely wrong. to really add some volume to my hair especially at the roots so I use this um, soft dust volumizing powder and it's so good I'm gonna run out of it soon because I've been using it a lot but I like to put this all in my roots and it really makes it um, more voluminous and more textured as well <laughs> A little bit of hairspray and back combing and that is my hair done. Um, so I'm going to put in my earrings now that I got from ASOS and a fur jacket that I really, really like. <laughs> this is the jacket. Um, it is by Urban Code London and it's like a long fur shaggy coat but it's a really nice colour. I love how it's like two-tone so you've got darker bits and then lighter bits. Um, and I got this on ASOS. So I thought it'd be really cool to take a photo with this, um, really neutral tone so it goes nicely with my feed. Um, this was £195 and it was reduced to £41 which is such a good um, saving and oh no it's out of stock now, oh well that's very popular but I'm sure some people will return it maybe, so it might come back into stock so I'll link it anyway so you can check. And maybe some similar ones for you as well. Um, but then I ordered some earrings to go with it. And they are from True Decadence. And they look like this. I just think they're so pretty. They go really, really well with the fur. And they kind of like... They're not just a stud. So they like go up your ear a little bit <laughs> i'll show you what they look like in but these were six pounds six quid that's so good um yeah i'll link those as well harlow's away can't you darling oh i think it's because i've got the fur coat out he loves fur coats so <laughs> no nibbling of the coat please <laughs> So that goes in like that and it kind of like follows the shape of your ear a little bit so I think that's really nice. <laughs> I love it, it's so soft. I just love the colour, it's like a nudie colour. But yeah, this is my finished look for today's Get Ready With Me video. I'm going to go take some photos now and then if you want to see what they look like, I will put them up now. And 
and if you want to follow me on instagram and see more photos um it is just emma grace sand so search me and give me a follow but if you want to subscribe to my channel please do um so you won't miss any videos that i do and you'll get notifications so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this get ready with me and uh, let me know if you like it uh give me a thumbs up if you do so yeah i hope you have a wonderful week goodbye Thank you.